Hello and welcome back to Flute Tip of the Week. I always find that the best kind of teaching comes from a place of experience. Whether that be connecting with your student over mutual interests, or having had the same kind of problem while you were developing as a musician yourself. And being able to share that experience with your student to help them come out of it themselves. And this week I started physiotherapy for the tendonitis in my shoulder as a result of the uh, bursa getting a little bit too tight around the collar. And I realized that there are probably more people out there than anyone would care to admit who have the same kind of problem. I am doing specific exercises to help redevelop the muscles around my joint and to retrain the tendon and the bones to go into the correct places. I wanted to share this with you because as I always say in so many of my videos, physical health is so important when it comes to being a well-balanced musician. And the only way one can do what they love in their life for the rest of their life, they need to be able to get ahead of these injuries or know how to start getting better from them. So this week I'm going to show you the exercises I have started to do. Look into exercises early on to help combat or even prevent injuries like RSI and tendonitis. I'm going to show you four exercises that I personally am using to help my shoulder and Already in just the last few days, I am feeling a difference. There is a little bit of weakness in my arm as a result of not using it at all to avoid the pain. And what these exercises are doing are allowing me to rebuild the muscle so that I'm actually able to hold my flute again, as well as be able to do everyday things, like even doing my dishes. For the exercises I'm going to show you, you need a light resistance band. I got mine from my physiotherapist, however, you are able to get a hold of these in most pharmacies as well as sports outlets. So the band I'm using is a pretty light resistance one because I don't have all that much strength in my shoulder right now. You'll need to do these exercises by a door so that you can sling it over the top and close the door to hold this in place. I'm going to be demonstrating these exercises using my right arm today as I did them with my left arm yesterday and I want to give it a bit of a break. So the first one you're going to do, you're going to stand directly facing the door and you're going to pull from about just under shoulder height and bring the band straight down along your side so that your hand ends up beside your hip. And you'll do this 10 times. And make sure to use consistent strength when doing this. If you just release your arm and let the band do the work for you on the way up, then that gets rid of about half of the exercise. For this next exercise, you're going to be facing the wall beside your door. And you're going to pull the band to in front of you, and then you'll be raising your arm with the resistance pulling away from you to the side. And this will help you get a little bit more strength around the sides of the muscle instead of just going in the straight up and down motion. For this one, also do 10 of these reps and you'll do it three times overall. So having enough resistance so that you're in line with your shoulder and then you'll be raising it up and maintaining this slow motion and staying pretty much within this area, having your arm high above, bringing it in a straight line down and not quite all the way down towards your hip. These last two exercises you don't need the band for and you can do every day instead of just every other day. So for this first one, you're going to take your opposite hand and put it underneath your elbow. Have it straight out in line with your shoulder. And what you're going to do is you're going to be pushing into your other hand where you're going to be trying to hold it steady. And you'll hold each of these for about five seconds. So. One, two, three, four, five, and relax. Do this one only about five to 10 times. And finally, we're going to do one where you roll your shoulders back because especially with a tendonitis problem in this area, like what I have, a part of the problem is going to be bringing your shoulder back instead of letting it roll forward. This is also why I have tape across my back because what this is doing is it's pulling my arm and my shoulder back into place. So for this, you're just going to roll your shoulders back and hold for about five seconds, then relax it 
and do it again. And really this is just to help you feel where your shoulder needs to go back into place and return to where it's naturally supposed to be. Gradually, over time, you can add more reps. For the band exercises in particular, you can go between 10 and 15, and then afterward, start using a band that has a bit of a higher resistance. But don't try to rush your recovery. The whole point of being able to do this with gradually more exercises and more resistance is to build up the muscle and allow the tendon to relax and everything to go back to their normal size and no longer swell. I hope these exercises help you as well. Just make sure not to do it every single day, do it every other day so that you aren't putting too much stress on your arm and you don't just give yourself too much pain. So again, that tip was look into exercises that will combat or even prevent injuries like RSI and tendonitis. I hope you find this week's tip helpful. Again, it's just so important to keep an eye on how everything is working together, being really careful with how you play, but sometimes there will be injuries that have nothing to do with your flute playing, still will affect it greatly. And doing exercises like this can help you get over that so that you're able to get back to your work. I'll see you all next week. Flute happy and muscle rehab happy. You know, I'm really glad that it's not quite swimsuit time because if it was and I still had my sports tape on, I would end up with some pretty funky tan lines. <laughs>